Hey, this is Seymour from Hostage Com. This is Kyle from Fireworks. This is Wayne from Man Overboard. My name is James. I'm playing a band called Make Two and Men. This is Mark from Lost Words. This is for Peter 2. Peter 2. Peter 2. Peter 2. Peter two. Peter two. I'm out here on Warp Tour talking to Peter 2. And this is. His father. My dad. <laughs> you come out in I think that Peter 2 has done a, a nice job of aligning itself with the underground music scene and music culture. And, and that's a. You know, it's a powerful way to, to reach out to people. Yeah! I feel like punk has always been, it's always gone against the grain. It's always tried to see what was wrong with the world and tried to go against that. Um, and I can't think of anything that's more evident than the way we treat animals. I think, I think it definitely makes an impact on kids who maybe don't even know anything about it. Oh yeah, especially a festival like Warp Tour. Everyone's very excited to be here, and like a lot of them are younger and just open to new ideas that they've never heard before. It's cool to give kids like some information, you know, like just let kids like let kids know what's going on. I think that they're great ambassadors for animal rights um, in punk because like they understand what punk is. It's not like your mom going to a show and being like heavy metal. I absolutely support PETA 2 um, standing up to the tobacco companies and stopping them from testing uh, tobacco products on animals. It's just like, it just shows each new level of like, <laughs> just absolute uh, disrespect for all life that tobacco companies must have to keep selling these things. Information being readily available, especially in this sort of environment, is very cool. And then allowing people to make their own informed decisions, you know, it's very important. There are a lot of kids who would go to their table every day and they would hand out a lot of pamphlets. They, were, they did a great job. We were all here to sort of convene and, and share with each other, you know? And so, like, the PETA pamphlets always started that uh, discussion. I see kids walking around with like, all the stickers and everything like that, so it seems like kids are being real responsive to it, so that's awesome. That's why we fell into this, is just to be something a little different and try to maybe make a little bit of a difference. But when you see the tent there, you're like, oh, shout out to Peter too. It's because like, you know, it's just a reminder, I think, to everybody about um, spreading the word.